facilities professionals came together to share their knowledge and expertise with students who Sunday soon will join them in the industry. And I learned things about the profession that are extremely important. Who wouldn't want to see a 40,000 pound door that sits there and is held on by the vacuum behind it? I was kind of surprised at how much, how many different things that they're involved in throughout the day. They kind of have their foot in everything and you kind of have to know a lot about a lot of different fields to be able to be a facilities engineer. What I really enjoyed was that I was actually paired with um, Western and Allied Mechanical also, and they be stopped by uh, Fenwick, which was doing a retrofitting, and that's exactly the field I would like to be in. They showed us basically the entire construction process. Um, you know, they, they said that they had over 40 subcontractors working on this one facility at one time. I visited NetApp today. Um, what, what I really liked was being able to pretty much be, not quite one-on-one, -on -one, but being able to really pick, pick someone's brain who, who's been working there for a while and really get, get to know how they, what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> and yeah, we toured Slack, Slack's campus and saw like, you know, I, was, I was mainly, um, the part I liked about it was being exposed into the construction field because um, one of my my, fo my focus right now is into sustainability and green design. Like seeing it applied into like you know real like real construction is just is, is amazing to see like how much like it's really applied into the field. I'm here on behalf of the students and um, and the school just to to learn more about um, companies and um, what they're looking for. Like and this is in terms of even interns, or even what programs they have available. And also, um, what types of um, skills and um, assets they want when they hire people full time after graduation. But you know, we want to you know share this experience with um, a lot of your classmates who couldn't come this year. So you know, next year, what would you tell them about this experience that would get them to want to come out here again? I went from knowing absolutely nothing this morning to feeling like I could definitely choose facilities engineering as a, as a career for my future. The facilities professionals have been really nice, really outgoing, you know, easy to talk to. I can assure you that they are amazing and cool guys. And I would recommend it to anyone. Um, I wasn't really looking for a career in facilities engineering before, didn't really know about it. After, after shadowing um, someone today, I would really consider it in the future. It seems like a really cool, rewarding job. How much did it cost you? Five bucks. What? Five, 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 five dollars? Is that all? Yeah. And you got lunch and a nice dinner? Yeah, Beautiful exactly. Dinner? Yeah, it's, it's a great deal. It's a steal. <laughs> I know we have a great program, but they can't, they can't learn everything in the classroom. We actually ran into a construction management um, grad from Cal Poly. He graduated last year, and he said, you know, the Cal Poly was great, but I learned so much on the job. And we ran into people who had been in the construction business for decades. I spent my afternoon with uh, Bob Adamo, who's the president of Technical Builders. I feel that he's going to be someone I'm going to be able to contact in the future if I need help.